हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद मॉड्यूल टू सो मॉड्यूल वन ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट इज माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग एंड एंटेना थियरी इज ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड एंड वी हैव मेड टेन वीडियोस व्हिच कवर्स ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स व्हिच इज देयर इन द लेटेस्ट सिलेबस ऑफ ट्वेंटी स्कीम व्हिच इज अपडेटेड टू यू गाइज बेस्ड ऑन दैट All the topics I've covered. Only last one topic was left that I am not sure that whether it's there or not. So that topic was about single stub matching. Uh, so that one topic I've left, but the rest all the topics I've tried to cover in module one. Okay. So in module one we had discussed about the basics of microwave system. What and all are the parameters it consists of with respect to impedance, coefficient values, reflection, transmission, everything. and uh, for each of them we had a, se a separate set of expressions and uh, based on those expressions we have also solved few problems on that and uh, many things we have discussed in module 1 which is the fundamental basic of this subject microwave engineering okay so in the module 2 also we are going to deal with the microwaves only okay because uh, whatever the basics we have learned in module 1 that we are going to apply here in the form of a microwave network okay so this is the name of the module itself that is microwave network in this we are going to be analyzing some network parameters based on that uh, the voltages and current uh, based on the voltage and current equations which you have seen in module 1 based on that the network parameters we are going to design and we are going to see how it is getting interrelated to each other okay yeah so now let us see starting with microwave network coupling of microwave devices and the components of transmission line of wave guide for the transmission of the microwave signal so firstly in order to build a microwave network we should be doing one thing that is called as coupling of microwave devices so whatever the microwave devices which is uh, which we have seen in the uh, first part of our module that is the first video in that we have discussed some of the important microwave devices right so those microwave devices when they are getting coupled that is if their characteristics or anything matches with each other then it could be categorized into coupling so coupling of those devices and the components which is present in that devices transmission line of gave guide for the transmission of the microwave signal okay so the, what it what it means is that the network is basically the coupling of one or more microwave devices in order to form a microwave network at low frequencies the physical length is shorter than the wavelength of the signal the measurable output and input variables are voltages and currents okay in this case whatever the parameters which we have which we are going to discuss in in this with respect to the microwave network are mainly considerable for voltages and currents in the outputs and input variables okay voltages and currents are related by z y h and a b c d parameters okay so these are the different parameters which you had studied in the network analysis itself that is z y h and a b c d or t parameters so in these set of parameters the voltages and currents are interrelated so one by one let us see in all the four parameters how it is given by just recall it by writing the matrix form okay first is v1 v2 that is equal to in terms of z parameters it is given by z11 z12 z21 z22 this is one matrix Which is multiplied by the current matrix I one I two. Okay, in case of I one I two, it is in inverse of Z parameter that is Y parameter or admittance parameter. So it is given by I one I two is equal to Y one one Y one two Y two one Y two two. This is one two cross two matrix. It is multiplied by V one V two. Okay. Next is for H parameters, we should be considering first voltage and second current V one I two. That is equal to h11, h12, h21, h22 into i1, v2. Okay. Last is the t parameter or a, b, c, d parameter. Okay. So in this way, the voltages and currents are related in these four set of parameters. We have just brushed it up. Okay. But uh, this is just the basic part. This we are not going to be using anywhere in the uh, upcoming uh, videos or in the upcoming concepts. So just in order to know how it is interrelated, I have shown you by writing these four equations. Okay. now you see here at microwave frequency length of the components are much larger than the wavelength so this is one parameter or one note you we should be knowing that is at microwave frequency the length of the components are larger than the wavelength which is uh, generated by that microwave okay so the components length would be very very large because 
it is at the microwave microwave stage okay so that's why it should be very very small so that's why it would be smaller than the components as well the voltage and currents are not well defined for a microwave wavelength also the measurement of z y h and a b c d is difficult at microwave frequencies because of the following points which is mentioned above okay non availability non availability of terminal b and i equipments short circuit and open circuit are not easily achieved for wide range of frequency okay so the concepts of open circuit and short circuit in a microwave network are not easily achieved for a wide range of frequencies okay so in uh, in our first module we have discussed some uh, i3 poly microwave frequency bands right so for those frequency bands only the short circuit and open circuit would be eligible in case of any microwave network uh, leaving those frequencies if you have any other value of frequency then it won't be uh, applicable and it won't be easily achieved okay so those microwave frequency bands which has a certain range at that range of frequency only these uh, microwave networks would be working uh, other than that there would be no signs of working in case of any microwave networks so these points you just noted down next is presence of active services make the circuit unstable for short term open circuit okay so the what do you mean by this is presence of active services so if you if you are passing any microwave through the microwave network from input side to output side so there should be no other waves or no other frequency bands when once you are generating in the network okay so it means that it Uh, the waves should be traveling only one at a time if you have two or two or more waves traveling simultaneously in the network then the circuit would be unstable okay therefore the microwave circuits are analyzed using s parameters so in order to avoid this condition we have an important set of parameter in order to analyze these microwave circuits or microwave networks that is analyzed using these s parameters okay so these are the scattering matrix revolution or multi port network so this s stands for scattering matrix so this term or this uh, uh, word whatever i told that you should be remembering because this is going to be repeating in the most of the concepts in the uh, in this module so that's why this scattering matrix and s parameter terms are very very important and uh, based on that scattering matrix equations and uh, many other things the problems also would be solved and many in many concepts this would be coming in the upcoming concepts of the module okay so stay tuned so now let us discuss about s parameters with respect to the microwave circuit okay so what i have taken is i have taken one uh, block here uh, circuit block network block where it consists of some inputs and some outputs and at the output side i have uh, attached one load that is called as zl in this case that is the load impedance then this is the uh, input impedance it is uh, in this case i have given it as zg then this is some voltage source and uh, here the voltages with respect to that some current should be traveling and this is the s parameters which i have written in with respect to this network which is given by s11 s12 s21 s22 okay and these are a1 a2 b1 b2 with respect to s11 s12 s21 s22 so now the normalized waves are expressed as follows so that is the normalized waves are given by the wave traveling from input side to output side okay for that we have represented it using different letters a1 a2 b1 b2 for that we would we should be writing the set of equations now one is given by a1 is equal to v1 plus divided by square root of z0 okay that is equal to v1 minus v1 minus okay why because you see here v1 plus is here okay if v1 plus is here and uh, v1 is the voltage traveling across this so a1 would be represented as follows with respect to v1 minus we should be adding one more v1 because the direction of this is towards v1 plus right so that's why if it if it, the direction is towards v1 plus then uh, our total value of v1 plus would be v1 minus and v1 that is v1 minus v1 of minus divided by square root of z okay same goes with b1 as well that is b1 is here v1 minus divided by square root of z not now it would be since we have taken the v1 minus term first and the direction is again the same thing so we should be considering v1 minus v1 plus this time okay once it should be going like this and once it should be going like this towards v1 plus and v1 minus next is a2 a2 is given by v2 plus divided by square root of z not again in the same thing 
that is v2 plus is written as v2 minus v2 of v2 minus then that square root of divided by square root of z naught and b2 is given by v2 minus divided by root z naught that is equal to v2 minus v2 plus divided by root z okay where v1 is equal to v1 is given by v1 plus minus v1 minus and v2 is given by v2 plus minus v2 minus respectively all together how v1 and v2 are interrelated with respect to v1 plus and v1 minus they have mentioned it okay so where a stands for normalized incident voltage and b stands for normalized reflected voltage okay so a and b components they have given it as one is for incident voltage and one is for reflected voltage so these parameters please note it down very important now with respect to that how the total net power is given by the total net power is given by p is equal to pi minus pr okay pi stands for incident power and pr stands for reflected power that is equal to half into a square minus b square magnitude of a square minus b square where a is the normalized incident voltage and b is the normalized reflected voltage the relation between incident and reflected waves are expressed in the scattering parameters okay so the scattering parameters are simply given by this term that is rho i j okay where i tends from the 0 to n and uh, j tends from 0 to n with respect to the uh, order of the matrix they are they are defined okay in this case we should be writing for with respect to the uh, reflected va values that is b1 and b2 with respect to that for sc uh, using scattering parameters we should be giving the normalized incident value as the coefficients of those uh, scattering parameters so how it is given by you see here b1 is equal to rho 1 1 a1 plus rho 1 2 a2 and b2 is equal to rho 2 1 a1 plus rho 2 2 a2 okay where rho 1 1 is given by b1 divided by a1 with the condition that a2 should be equal to 0 okay then only rho 1 1 would be equal to b1 by a1 okay you see here in this equation if you put this a2 equal to 0 this term goes only these two remains and if you bring a1 to other side it should be b1 by a1 same goes with all other parameters scattering parameters rho 1 2 rho 2 1 and rho 2 so rho 1 2 would be b1 by a2 applied condition a1 equal to 0 rho 2 1 would be b2 by a1 applied condition a2 equal to 0 and rho 2 2 would be b2 by a2 applied condition a1 equal to 0 okay so these are the four scattering parameters okay with respect to rho ij for the normalized reflected voltage okay keeping in mind the normalized incident voltage the reflection coefficient gamma when port 2 is given by port 1 match loop okay the attenuation of the wave traveling from port 2 to port 1 when rho 2 equal to a1 by a2 that is attenuation wave traveling from port 1 to 2 it is given by this uh, term here you see here how it is given by so whatever this um, uh, equations are there that i have written it in uh, matrix form here that is b1 b2 equal to rho 1 1 rho 1 2 rho 2 1 rho 2 2 with respect to a1 and a2 this is for two port okay since we are considering the two port network here okay so this is a two port network so that's why we have considered only uh, two port two values and uh, one two cross two matrix okay in general for an n port network it is given by this form that is b1 b2 up to bn that is equal to rho 1 1 rho 1 2 rho 1 1 3 up to rho 1 n and so on okay this is for n port network or multi port network okay so this matrix you please note it down so this was it for the video guys so this was just the introduction part of this module of microwave network with respect to the two port networks uh, we have discussed uh, the different uh, parameters of this with respect to scattering matrix and how it is formed with respect to normalized incident and reflected voltage everything we have seen it okay so that's all for the video guys so i wanted to discuss one more topic but uh, it would be a very lengthy video then so that's why i, I will be discussing that in the next video okay so that's all for this video guys like share subscribe to our channel keep supporting us and do stay updated for the upcoming videos okay that's all guys thank you